Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today we are going to be doing another SS Summon Stone. <laughs> Two on one channel, how fun is that? What we are going to do is find this SS Summon Stone, Awakening Crystal SS. And uh, if we go into the summon part, let's just check if the chance for an SSS has changed or not. Uh, we need to find something that can be summoned. Um, okay, we will not waste it on this. But we can have a look at our selections and click on it here. So it's still, yeah, 0.33% chance for SSS, which is super low. But you never know, today's the day that it could happen. So what are we going to summon today? We are going to summon a DTV or uh, not necessarily D D Doom Terminator Vulcan uh, while you're summoning him. It will be a pure basic Vulcan. The only problem is uh, I don't believe we have a loose copy uh, because of all the summoning that was done. Um, if you remember the summoning event, uh, where is that? So you get to see the uh, extortionate GBP prices there. Um, Oh, we don't have the summoning event history anymore, right? Because it's uh, the gifts have been gone. So yeah, our tab has disappeared. But yeah, I think it got up to about 23,000 points, which is insane. Um, the points required for all the summoning stones this time were insane. Uh, a good deal higher than they were the first time this type of summoning uh, was used. Uh, at least DH got rid of that stupid system where you had to buy a different type of summoning stone in order to uh, summon for the event. That <laughs> was crazy. Um, but now we're back to the original method, which is uh, better. Um, but yeah, the required points in order to summon went up a lot. Um, so back to our point, we need to summon a Vulcan. So we need to find a Vulcan. Um, I believe not in here. Uh, no, there's not one in here. I think there might be one in his main copy though. So you see all these SS's that are here already. It's kind of crazy. Um, where is his DT? I must have scrolled past it, surely. Surely. Oh, it might not be upgraded at all. Maybe it's towards it. No? Where are you hiding? I must have scrolled past it a couple of times already now. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it is, it is upgraded. No, ah, it's fully upgraded. It's uh, T5, that's why I missed that. Okay, so let's look for a copy here. Okay, we've got two copies here, so we need to swap it onto the main. And then we're going to have to uh, get a copy to swap it outwards, which means we're going to have to find that uh, 10 star and convert that and regress it in order to get some coppers out. Okay, so now we can swap a copy. <laughs> sure you guys have plenty of experience doing this. Uh, out into the back. So we have a loose copy of DTV. And this is going to be the magic copy that is going to turn into an SS or better, or better, Doom Terminator Vulcan. So let's um, find that copy. And without too much further ado, where is it? Here you go. We can get it. And we have another copy hidden in case we mess this one up, but it should be fine. Right, we want to get rid of the free summon, but it should be fine to still have that and use the summoning stone. If it doesn't work and it uses the free summon, we have another copy. <laughs> okay, it is with the SS stone already. So here we go. We are going to be summoning 
an SS or better Vulcan. Are you ready for these orange comets? They're fun. What we don't want to see is any red comets because that would mean it's a low tier SS. We want to avoid that. We want to see three orange comets and then ideally some SSS tiering. Uh, maybe even three SSSs. We shall see. Okay, you ready? Let's uh, give this a whirl. Confirm consuming Awakening Resonance Crystal SS for Soul Awakening. Let's go. Here it is. It's done now. We're committed. It's probably already calculated what it is, by the way. I mean, me clicking on the actual animation is going to make no difference whatsoever. So let's see. Let's see what we're going to get here. That's the orange. And orange and orange. That's a good sign. Oh, that's high. Oh, but not attack. Okay, so we did get one SSS. Uh, the attack's a little bit low, which is a bit of a shame, but still, it's a very strong copy, I think, overall. I mean, there's nice speed on it. Um, look at that! We, <laughs> we don't even have to use any hammers, that's great. Look at the roll! Giant killer, crit damage, holy damage, and crit <laughs> off the bat. I mean, the problem is with this, that ideally you would like skill damage on him. Um... But it's really hard to justify rolling off this roll. It's uh, a giant killer and three offensive stats. It's actually pretty hard to get. Um, so I was actually planning to get some hammers and um, see if we could get any stronger rolls. But I mean, oh, I'd really have to sit down and work out whether skill damage is worth two of these rolls. I mean, that is heavy. Hard to roll off. I mean, yeah, imagine getting that straight off and you don't have to use any hammers. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy stats. All right. Let's uh, confirm him. And put him into the main hero. Okay, so that's a big upgrade on everything because obviously we uh, swapped out the, the B tier that we had in there. And uh, yeah, this is already fully upgraded. He's not homed. But we will definitely do that soon and test him out in some new content. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great time.